Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So if your hair is feeling really dry and damaged and it's breaking or overprocessed, and you're sick of spending a bunch of money on conditioners and stuff like that, you wanna go the natural route, then I have something for you. It's a homemade hair recipe that I actually used a lot when my hair was really damaged a couple years ago. And I still use it today when it's feeling really dry. This is one of the hair masks that really took my hair from being dull and dry and damaged to soft and bouncy and shiny all over again. So here is what you're gonna need. Two things for this hair mask. The first one, coconut oil. Unrefined is better, but if you can't find unrefined, then regular will work as well. And an egg. This is because our hair loves coconut oil. You know, a lot of oils out there actually aren't able to even penetrate our hair shaft. So we put them on, but they don't fit into our hair. But because of coconut oil's itty bitty molecular structure, um, it's one of the few oils that our hair can actually just sip right up. Yummy. Our hair really likes coconut oil and the second ingredient that we're gonna use is just an egg because egg has a lot of protein in it and so we're gonna mix these two together and make a strengthening cocktail for our hair to have for lunch. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing that you wanna do, depending on the length and thickness of your hair, you wanna take a few tablespoons of coconut oil and melt it down because if you notice, it's actually solid at room temperature. So just melt it down to an oil like so. And I wanna make sure that the oil is not too hot, but also not too warm. I want it to be kind of like a mix between hot and warm actually. This way my hair opens up immediately and it penetrates faster. So I'm gonna go ahead and crack my egg and put it in and then I'm just gonna start beating it together like so until it's completely mixed up. So I'm kinda of trying to beat it quickly because I don't want to lose its heat. So once I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and protect myself with a towel because this gets really, really messy. And then I'm gonna section my hair off into fours and I'm going to completely saturate my hair with the treatment. And when I'm applying the treatment, I just focus a lot on my ends and I also make sure that I massage my scalp as well because coconut oil is really, really good for your scalp. And massaging your scalp is just good for hair growth in general because it helps the blood flow to your scalp. And once I'm done applying it to all my hair, you'll notice that because of the egg, your hair feels really, really stiff. Um, that will go away in the shower when you rinse it off, so I wouldn't really worry too much about it. So now that I'm done, I'm gonna remove my towel and then I'm going to take a little plastic bag like this because I wanna lock in the heat. So I'm gonna take my hair and put it up and then afterwards I'm gonna take my plastic bag and I'm gonna kind of twist it on like a little mini plastic turban. Now, you should look so beautiful like this when you're finished. All right. Let it sit for a good 30 to 40 minutes, depending on how much I need the treatment. Then wash it out with your shampoo and conditioner. I like to use a really good moisturizing conditioner after this treatment. And once you're done shampooing and conditioning your hair, when you get out of the shower, if your hair is really dry, you can go ahead and add a little bit more coconut oil just to retain the moisture. I usually do this when my hair is damp, like probably 70% dry. And then afterwards, it's up to you. You can either throw your hair up, or what I like to do is I like to blow dry my hair on cool, and then I do my heatless overnight curls on it to create the look that I have right here in front of you that you're watching. And I'll link that down below in case you missed that tutorial in the description box. That is it for my do-it-yourself hair reconstructor, one of my favorite do-it-yourself recipes ever. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye.